Hey, this is Daniel from Android Retouch and today I want to talk about setting up a Wacom graphics tablet on a Windows machine. The first question you might have is why this should be any different on a Macintosh than on Windows. So bear with me, I'm going to explain in a second. Now on a Windows machine we have certain features built into the operating system that are not present on a Macintosh, like touch displays. These features built into your operating system can fight against your Wacom driver settings and eventually cause a rather poor user experience. You might run into all sorts of issues like sliders dragging behind the action you are performing or constant visual feedback from every click you do which can be annoying. If you ran into those problems I mentioned or similar problems, I'm now going to lead you through a few simple steps that will ensure the best user experience you can have on a Windows machine. The first steps you want to take is to disable all the gestures you have built into your operating system. In order to do that, you simply open your Windows settings window and just type in Flix. Windows is going to take you now to a new window called Pen and Touch. You simply unclick the Use Flix to perform common actions for your operating system. The next step would be to go to Pen Options. You can leave the settings on the bottom checked as you find them when opening the window and go to Press and Hold feature. You double click, you simply disable the feature for right click while press and hold. The next thing you want to do is to go into Wacom Tablet Properties, choose the tablet device you are currently using, like I am an Intuos Pro. Then we are opening the Mapping tab. On the bottom left, we now disable the checkbox that says Use Windows Ink. For us, this is the most important step to take to tell Windows not to use the built-in features for Pen and Touch and rather use the driver implementation for Pen and Touch devices. In case you are using a rather dated version of Photoshop like CS6 or older, this is basically all the steps you have to take to make sure your tablet is running smoothly. But if you are using a more current version of Photoshop, there are a few steps more to take care of. And let me show you why this is the case. By the time Adobe decided to switch the user interface from Flash to HTML, this had a tremendous effect on pen behavior in Photoshop. In the older versions we were just fine having Use Windows Ink unchecked, but in later versions, as I can show you here, Photoshop would not recognize your pen anymore. Photoshop will simply indicate with the exclamation mark that it doesn't recognize your pen and there's basically nothing you can do about it in Photoshop. Of course, this video wouldn't make much sense if I couldn't provide a proper solution for this. To solve this problem, I created a custom user configuration file that goes straight into your Photoshop settings folder. It now tells Photoshop to make use of your system stylus that is connected to your Wacom driver. You can download the custom user configuration file on my blog. You will also find the exact file location where you have to put the file. After you have put the custom user configuration file into the Photoshop settings folder, you simply close your Photoshop program, reopen it, and as you can see, pen pressure is back. The best part of this, of course, is you get your pen pressure back without all the negative side effects we had to deal with before. There's no visual feedback when clicking, there's no sliders dragging behind, and so on. For most users, this is as far as I would take it. But I myself digged a little bit deeper into this topic and found that you actually can tweak your operating system to get a little bit more performance out of your tablet. However, it requires to make changes on registry settings and therefore I would only recommend it to experienced Windows users. If you decide to mess with the registry, you can open your registry editor and make a search for touch prediction. When you found touch prediction, it will include two keys that are important to us. One is going to be latency and the other is going to be sample time. The initial values for both keys are going to be 8. By double clicking on the key, you can change the key's values from 8 to 2. When you made changes on the registry keys, make sure to close the registry editor and close all the applications, then reboot your computer. 
The operating system is always going to work a certain amount of time to see if you are going to be performing a slightly different input. Let me explain. When you're using your fingers, there's a difference if you're using a one finger input or a two finger input. And therefore the system is going to be waiting if you're performing one or the other. With a pen, however, we are never going to use a similar action to a two finger input. It's always going to be one input. And therefore we can reduce the latency, which is the wait time for the system and get a slightly quicker response out of our tablets. Again, on my blog, you're going to find a custom user settings file and the registry keys for you to download and use for free. And that's basically it. A few simple steps to increase the performance of your Wacom tablet when using a Windows machine. If you found this helpful or have friends that might benefit from this information, I would appreciate if you pass it on. But also, if this information was helpful to you and you benefited from it, just leave a comment so I know. If you are watching this on YouTube, I would appreciate if you subscribe to our channel and stay informed about future videos, retouching tutorials, tips and tricks we are gonna be releasing in the future. Until then, see you around.